Hi everyone, and welcome to my Stardew Valley playthrough. I'm so glad you could make it today. We have a beautiful sunny day here on Bumbleberry Farm, and we have Demetrius requesting a fresh melon from us. All right, well, once our melons have grown, we'll have to remember to hang on to one of those for him. But right now, let's go ahead and get all of our crops watered. I am not sure our melons are going to be ready. We have two fields, but oh, we do actually have a melon crop ready to go. Okay, these two in the middle there, I don't know that they're going to be ready by the end of summer, but let's go ahead and pick all of our tomatoes. Oh, and good morning, Robin, building our fish pond for us. We are gonna get our sturgeon in there. All right, I think I got this watering situation taken care of. There we go. All of our tomatoes are watered. And let's go ahead and pick our melon crop. Hopefully, we get some more gold star. We got two more. All right. I am going to check really quickly and see how many we already had. Okay, so we have four in total. We need one more gold star melon for the quality crops bundle. I am gonna go ahead and sell most of what we have in our inventory. I am saving that one melon for Demetrius. And good morning, Marmalade. Let's go ahead and get you some water. And I am gonna grab these copper bars. Oh my goodness. I was looking at Marmalade and not where I was going. Let's clear a path for us really quickly. There we go. We can put those away. And we don't need that cave carrot. We can put that in our chest as well. I know Marnie asks for a cave carrot at some point. Oh, we have some honey ready. All right. And let's go ahead and water our flowers here so those can grow. And once we collect our mushrooms from the mushroom cave, we can go take care of our animals down here. Let's say good morning to our chickens. I hope you all slept well. And we can get our mayonnaise going in the mayonnaise makers here. Oh, no, I do not want to eat that one. I want them in the mayonnaise makers. All right, let's let everyone out into the sunshine. And we have a grape. All right. Good morning, cows. How are you doing? I hope you slept well also. We got our milk and we can go and make some more cheese. And let's let both of you out into the sun as well. Now, I think once we run up to the shipping bin and sell the things we don't need, we can head in. Oh, we have a wild common mushroom here, okay. Now that we've collected that, let's head up to the shipping bin and we can sell a few things before heading into the community center. Now, we don't need our honey for anything, right? No, I don't think we do. I am going to sell those grapes. I do like to hang on to forageables to give as gifts, but if they have a star, they're worth a little bit more. Let's go ahead and put away our purple mushroom and our egg. There is no milk. I sold the milk. Oh, no. Oh, I was going to save the milk to make more cheese. Oh. Okay, well, let's just head into town and head to the community center. We have a spice berry here and a dig spot. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh. We got an arrowhead and there's another spice berry and a flower up here. There is so much at the bus stop today. All right, well, let's keep going into town and another flower. Oh my goodness. Well, that was a lot at the bus stop. Let's go straight up to the community center. We have the cheese to turn in so we can at least get that. And that is in the, which bundle is that in? The an Not the animal, that's in the artesian. There we go. And we did need a honey. We could have put the honey in the artesian bundle. All right, I am going to add this to our to-do list right now. The next time we get honey, we need to bring it 
to the community center. Okay, I will not forget again. I am trying to be less forgetful in this game. It's a little bit easier when I'm just playing for fun because I will blow through almost an entire season in an afternoon and keeping track of things that way is a bit easier. Gus needs a red mushroom. Well, let's go ahead and accept it. Hopefully the mushroom cave will provide. And if not, we will have to disappoint Gus. <laughs> All right, let's turn in our two finds to the museum. We can put this, I think, right over here. We can pop those together and let's go ahead and turn our arrowhead in there as well. We didn't get any new rewards, but let's go and say hello to Harvey. We have a few gifts in our inventory, and we have not been very social with Harvey yet. All right, you have a good day, sir. Now, let's see if we can find Demetrius. He is usually up by the fountain above Pierre's, but let's double check. Yep, there he is, and Penny is up there as well. Well, let's go give him this melon that we harvested today. It is as fresh as it can possibly be. Oh, and there's Shane. I don't think I have anything that he would like, but we could still go and say hello, right? Shane, I, oh, okay. Well, I guess we won't say hello, but there's Carolyn. We can go and say hello to her, and I know that she would like some flowers. Her little circle is green. I think we might be able to get her heart event. Let's head inside. Pierre, you know what? I do have an empty plot for crops, but we do not have the time to grow some more melons. Let's grow some radishes. We haven't grown those yet, and they only take six days, which we definitely have some time for. Thank you very much, Pierre. Now, I don't know, since we just saw Carolyn outside, if we're going to be able to get her heart event, but let's find out. Oh, we are. All right. Let's talk to her. Good morning, Carolyn. You've been meaning to show me your private sunroom. Well, it is beautiful. I love all the plants in here. It is so pretty. <laughs> yep, it is beautiful. And it's very relaxing and peaceful in here. This is nice. I would like my greenhouse to be like this one day. Where you can always find peace. Yep, I understand that. And it's the perfect place to drink your homegrown tea. All right, I would love to have a cup with you. Oh, yes, I would. Let's have some green tea. All right, it is delicious. Thank you very much. You love to come in here for a fresh cup of tea every day. That is a nice, yep, that's a nice little morning ritual to have. Okay, I will let you explain. All right, we have a nice hot cup of tea and all the plants around when I'm alone with relaxing tea. My mind is empty and free to wander. Oh, well, that's nice. Who knows what might appear? I mean, things aren't really supposed to appear when you're drinking tea. Oh my goodness. Carolyn, are we sure we're drinking green tea? You didn't maybe get some of the potion that's in the wizard's cauldron? Are we sure? We're positive about this? Oh dear. It definitely makes sense, yep. Life can be hectic and it is nice to have a relaxing hobby, you're right. Oh, well thank you very much. I'm not sure how much I'll be coming to your sunroom, but I do appreciate the invitation. Okay, so now tomorrow we should be getting a letter in the mail with the recipe for how to grow our own green tea bushes. That is going to be so exciting. I am looking forward to making that tea. Let's go ahead and deliver this fresh melon to Demetrius. There he is. 
Well, I have something else for you to ponder. Your delivery. You're very welcome. I think that is the fastest turnaround time I have ever achieved for that request. Normally, I have to wait a few days for the melons to finish growing. And Penny, how are you today? The mountains do look lovely. Would you like this flower? All right, you have a good day. Let's say hello to Vincent and Jas. I have not seen them up on the playground that often, but it is Saturday. That makes sense. Normally, I bump into them when I am turning things into the museum. I don't think I have paid attention to their weekend schedule as much as maybe I should have. Okay, let's go ahead and get our radishes planted down here. And while I'm thinking about it, let's see if we have any fertilizer we can put on them. We have some speed grow, but radishes grow fairly quickly, so that is not what I am looking for. I will take this poppy, though. We can give that to Penny tomorrow. And let's go ahead and get this basic fertilizer on our radishes and see if we can improve their quality as they're growing. There we go. Now, I definitely do not want to forget to water them. That would be very unfortunate. Now, I want to double check how much wood and stone we have because we are working towards... Where is the stone? We don't have any stone in our entire chest? There is no stone in here. Did we use all of it building the fish pond? That can't be right. We don't have any stone in any of our chests. All right, well, I know what we are doing with the rest of today. <laughs> Let's head up to the mines and try and see if we can mine more stone. I didn't realize we used all of it building our fish pond. Okay, well, oops. We have already given Linus two gifts. All right, well, we will not give him anything else until tomorrow when everything resets. So, funny story. We had 156 stone in our chest in the mines. I must have forgotten to grab it the last time we came in. That was a very quick trip to the mines. So instead, I decided we should go fishing to try and catch a ghost fish for the community center because I always forget to bring my fishing rod and then we wind up on these floors and we have not yet caught a ghost fish so since it is so late in the evening i thought this might be a little bit better use of our time since as it turns out we don't actually need to go mining for stone <laughs> oh but these can be kind of an unpredictable catch i think we are going to oh we actually got one all right Sometimes it takes me forever to get a ghost fish. I wind up with almost an entire inventory worth of seaweed. There we go. And it's a gold star one. All right. Well, that is neat. Let's see if we can catch a second one. Everyone keep your fingers crossed. Like I said, I don't normally catch too many of these. It's usually just one, maybe two if I'm lucky. And we are not even getting any seaweed. Oh, there we go. Algae, I mean, not seaweed. Seaweed is in the ocean and algae is in ponds and rivers. They are similar, but not interchangeable. But I do want to try to catch maybe one more while we're here i don't normally fish too much on these floors i'll catch one or two ghost fish and then that's it so i do try to make the most of it while i'm fishing in here but it is very slow compared to fishing in other places and we are mostly pulling up algae i would really like to get a second ghost fish but I also want to get this one turned into the community center, so 
a broken CD. Oh my goodness. Okay, now we're just pulling up trash. And you know what? I think this would be a good time to head out. It is 9.20. So we will have enough time to head out of the mines and get back to the community center. That way, there is very little chance that I will forget to turn this fish in and get back to the farm and just sell it. We definitely do not want that. All right, let's head over to the fish tank, and that is in the specialty fish. So all we need is the wood skip from the secret woods, and I still have to upgrade my axe in order to access that. So that might be what we prioritize once we start upgrading all of our tools from copper to iron. We might think about upgrading our axe first so that we can get into the secret woods. But let's go ahead and grab our egg for the mayonnaise machine and sell our spiceberry and broken CD. And now let's go and close our barn and coop doors. Good night, chickies. I hope you sleep well. Let's head over to the barn and grab our cheese and close that door as well. This is, I think, the first time I am reliably remembering to close the barn and coop doors. Normally, I do not remember to do that. But I'm forgetting other things, so it balances out. It is getting late. Robin, did you not see the pop-up? It is getting late. It is midnight. You should go home and get some rest. Stop working. And it is time for us to call it a night as well after I sell our mayonnaise and cheese and move this poppy so I remember to give it to Penny. And that does it. We have a brand new day here on Bumbleberry Farm. Let's go ahead and check the weather and our fortune. And we have a new episode of Queen of Sauce. We learned how to make the Maki Roll. We need that for the community center. That is fantastic. Let's check our mail. We got the letter from Carolyn giving us the recipe for her tea saplings. Oh, this is exciting. We are going to make some of these and I'll have to decide where we're going to plant them. And then once they grow, we will have little tea leaves. And Demetrius is thanking us for getting him that melon with some fried mushroom. Oh, well, that is some lovely mail to start our day. Let's go ahead and water all of our crops. I did take a moment in between days to double check on when I planted our melons, and I think we're going to be just fine. I do believe they are going to grow before the end of the season. These ones in the middle are growing quite nicely, so hopefully... We will have a shot at getting our five gold star melons. And let's get this bottom row watered. There's marmalade sitting under the tree. We can go and say good morning to her. Oh my goodness, Robin finished the fish pond. She was working so late last night to finish it up. Oh, we can grab our sturgeon and put our sturgeon in there. But let's go and say good morning to marmalade first. And now we can run up to our chests. And where did I put our sturgeon? I think there we go. And let's go put our sturgeon in the fish pond. There you go. I hope you're doing well in there. You're feeling pretty good. All right. Let's go check out our mushroom cave and see. We do not have any red mushrooms for Gus. Oh, oops. I do not want to eat that one. That is, oh, don't want to eat that one either. <laughs> well, poor Gus will not get his red mushroom, but let's go and take care of our animals. I think I am going to move our chicken statue in front of the farmhouse. That's normally where I put it. Good morning, little chickies. How are you all doing? 
We have a lot of back and forth with the quality of our eggs, and I think it's because they are sometimes not finding enough grass to eat. So let's go ahead and put down some hay. I'm a little bit surprised because we have all of this grass out here right outside the coop but I think some of them are not eating the grass. The cows, I understand, because we have all these boulders and it's such a long way for them to walk. But the chickens, I do not understand. So I am going to just start putting hay in their trough. Normally I try to save as much hay as possible for the winter time and let them utilize the grass when we have grass, but this game is a little unusual with that. For me, anyway. But now that our animals are taken care of, let's head up towards the farmhouse. And I am going to get everything that we need put away. And then let's place our chicken statue. Normally, I put it right around there. And then I'll get the seasonal plants and put them in front of the farmhouse along with the chicken statue. We are low on wood. We do not have enough wood for our coop upgrade. So I think that is what we are going to work on today after we head into town. There is one other thing that I have not been remembering to do that I am going to try to fix today. Hello, Harvey. I am sorry that you do not have enough patience. I can try to pass out in the mines if that helps. All right, what do we have? Oh no, Rasmodius. No, no. Uh, three dust sprites today. Okay, well, we are not going into the mines. We have other plans. Good morning, or er, afternoon, <laughs> Pierre. I would like to buy a pomegranate sapling from you. Thank you very much. Now we can get that planted and those take a full season to grow. So at the tail end of fall, we will have our pomegranate. Now, where is Penny? I do not see her. She is not with Jas. She is not anywhere in the town. Oh, there she is. I wanted to make sure to give Penny this poppy today. Let's run up and deliver this to her. Poppies are her favorite flower and I grew them just for her. Hello, Penny. I have a flower for you. Oh, you are very welcome. We got a new achievement, a new friend. Let's take a look. Oh, we got five hearts with Penny. All right. Well, now that we have done that, Let's head over to the forest and start chopping down some trees. I'm hoping that we still have some trees in the forest. We have been cutting down quite a few to get all of our buildings upgraded. So I am going to start heading down this way first. Normally I go around by the wizard's tower, but... Oh my goodness, there aren't even that many trees down here. Okay, here we go. We have a nice little cluster here. I normally try to cut down every other tree. I know I've mentioned this before because I don't want to completely empty any area of its trees, but we have been cutting down quite a few this game to get everything done. And so we are running a little short on trees. I am going to plant some new ones as we go. I know every season the game replenishes the trees on its own, but it never hurts to help nature out a little bit and plant some new trees from the seeds that we get while we are cutting down the current ones. I have seen some really pretty tree farms that people have made on Pinterest on their farms, but I never end up doing that. I just take the seeds and plant them along the shore in the forest here, or up on the mountain path, or around Robin's house. <laughs> and then we end up with some extra trees here. 
Oh my goodness, I am out of energy. Well, it is Sunday, so let's go see what the traveling cart has. Okay, it doesn't look like there is too much that we need. An orange for 400 gold. That is a very good price. I am going to take that and we are going to put that in the community center. And only one rare seed this week. Well, let's go ahead and buy that. All right. I normally don't buy fruit from the traveling cart, but since we are running a little bit behind where I would like to be for getting the pantry bundle done, I am going to take advantage of that rather inexpensive orange so that we can turn it into the community center. Do I have anything to give Shane? We could probably give him the grapes that we have. Good evening, Shane. I can tell you're very busy. I just wanted to see if you would like some grapes really quickly. Oh, well, you're welcome. I hope you have a good rest of your night. We finally found a gift that Shane likes. Now let's head up to the community center so we can turn in this orange very quickly. The traveling cart is kind of saving my bacon for getting the greenhouse built before winter. Normally, I complete the artesian bundle. There we go, with the apples, pomegranates, and honey, and goat cheese. But this game, because I'm playing it broken up, I keep losing track of where we are. So this way, with the extra fruit from the traveling cart, I think we are going to stay on track for getting our greenhouse built by winter. So when I bought the pomegranate sapling earlier, my thinking was by the end of fall, we would have some pomegranates growing and we'd be able to turn those in to the community center. But now we may not even need that for the pantry bundle. We do still need it for the wizard's bundle over on the bulletin board. So, oh no, too close to another tree. What tree? Okay, what other trees do we have around here? I'm not seeing any. Is it the seed? Oh, goodness. <laughs> I almost used the last of my energy there, pulling that seed up. All right, let's try again. There we go. It was that seed. Okay. We have both our apple tree and our pomegranate tree growing now. I don't know if they're going to stay there. Oh, my goodness. They are all in a row. I'm fairly certain I have the most unusual chickens I have ever encountered in this game. Oh my, the chickens concern me quite a bit. But speaking of being behind where I normally am, we are two cows short of a full barn, so I am going to add that to our to-do list because we are certainly capable of buying two more cows, and that would give us some more milk and potentially cheese. But next episode is going to be covering Monday and Tuesday, so we will not be buying any cows next week because Marnie will be busy. So if we put it on the to-do list, we'll be more likely to remember. But I hope that you're enjoying these episodes of my Stardew Valley playthrough here on Bumbleberry Farm. And if you are, please remember to do all the wonderful things that support a YouTube channel. Until next time, good night everyone!